Today we're trying to understand how do we use the list repeat control. There are two parts to this process. First we will add the list repeat control. And then in the second part, list the data so we can see all the items one below the other. Let's start with the first one. Let me just go ahead to the control on the left and search for list repeat. Now I will drag and drop this control to the screen. I have a sheet prepared already for the sake of simplicity and named it e-commerce. It has three fields, product description, product type and the product image. And I have added some sample data to this sheet. What I am going to do is add a list item inside this list repeat and I'm going to repeat it depending on the number of records I have in my sheet. The way it works is that it will just repeat whatever I drop inside this control depending on the formula or the data that you bind. I will just go and add formula which is I'll bind data from sheet e-commerce. Select three columns product description, product type and product image and save this. What this does is it creates a formula which we can see here and it will get me all the details out here which I have fetched. Now moving to the next step, adding list item. We will add a list item which is let's say a product list and I will drag this inside my list repeat. Now here I have three sections or three places where I can bind data. First one is image which is this, title which is this, and subtitle which is this. Now let me bind data to these sections. There is this option repeat, which is nothing but a formula that we applied in list repeat. I will just go ahead and bind the image to the product image column. Title to the product description column. And subtitle to the product type column. That's it I am done with the process. Now what this will do is, it will bring all the data from my e-commerce sheet into my list repeat and one by one it will bind each record and it will repeat everything that is there inside. We have a bunch of properties for list repeat out here which says do I want to show a divider between two list items, do I want this to be a single select or a multi-select. There are options to choose layouts for different devices and so on so forth. Now we are done. Now we will preview this to see how this looks. So here we can see we have repeated all the records present in the sheet as you can see here in our application. You can visit the marketplace and install a lot of cards and lists which you can use in your applications. So that's it for today, this is how we use a list repeat control. I hope this tutorial is helpful. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos visit our YouTube page.